G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm pushing on with this new uh, furnace I've made. And I tried it out and did a bit of uh, preheating on it, steamed off some of the moisture with this Primus torch, which is the big, biggest standard torch I've got. And this is the one that Neil Appleby from Queensland sent down to me, asked me if I'd like it. And uh, as you can see, it's a huge improvement size-wise, so it should really do the job. Put a new hose on it this morning. The original hose was a bit past it and uh, got some better fittings and stuff. So it should be ready to go. I actually fired it up on the bench to see how it looked. And yeah, it runs really well. So we'll stick it in the... Uh, in the furnace and I'll melt down some aluminium with it and uh, just as a test run once again and then after that I'll consider moving on to brass so we'll get this going and just see how it performs Here's a shot of the uh, the rig, and Neil also sent me, you know, the regulator and everything for it. And uh, it it really pumps the heat out. I mean, that melted down that aluminium in just oh, five minutes flat. You know, no problem at all. And I had the gas turn back on it, you know, quite a bit, so I didn't waste too much. But uh, 
yeah, it's quite controllable. And uh, yeah, it's a top unit. So many thanks to Neil for sending me that. That was terrific. Here's some photos of Neil's setup that he was using this in, and he's stepped up to a larger size uh, unit. And uh, as he didn't need this anymore, he said, "You want it?" So I said, yeah. Thank you very much, and it's terrific. As they say, you haven't really done anything unless you've had at least one cock up. And I managed to melt a, <laughs> melt a hole in my sawing tray. I forgot that this tin was uh, not standing on a brick which I should have. Uh, I just had brain fade on that, so that's pretty well stuffed. I got another one anyway. I might put a bit of tape over the bottom, but she's not in good shape. And what I did here was I um, cast into some sand and automatic transmission fluid. That's all it was, sand and automatic transmission fluid. And you can see the job it did. It did a bloody good job. Really good. Really, really good. And all I did I've done this before many times. All you do is just use a bit of pipe tubing as a former, put it in, put it in the tin, pack, pack around with the uh, pack the sand and um, auto transmission fluid mix around tight, pull out the tube, and you can see it did a terrific job. It, it's a really good casting medium. I've, I've got this idea from people who do silver casting. A lot of them use automatic transmission fluid and, and fine sand. That's all they use. It works great. So uh, it is one for you. Yeah. Once again, that's just scrap aluminium. But boy, that furnace really melted the stuff down super fast. Really. It should do brass no problem whatsoever. So here it is after the job. And having the wheels on is just the best. The best ever. It's a piece of cake to move this around. And the lid... Being able to pivot it and swing it, it, uh, it just makes it so easy. You can access it any way you like. And as you can see, there's no cracking at all. It took that, did that easy. Yeah, stood up to it remarkably well. You can see it's, it's dry out more. It's now getting to a lighter colour. And uh, that's the lid. All in all, it's, it's worked out as good as I could ever hope for and it's the perfect size unit for what I want to do. You can get a pretty big crucible in there if you wanted to. But, uh, yeah, excellent. Really well worth doing. You know, it took a while, but you just work your way through these things. I don't think I've changed the design in any way at all. It's pretty much spot on. You know, I just started by slicing off the, the top for the lid, and then I just worked my way through it with whatever scrap and junk I had. And had a few reds and a few thinks along the way, and yeah, it's really turned out excellent. Okay, guys, that's it. Next stop, brass, brass station, so we'll see how we go there. That's it for now. Catch you next time. Cheers.